Lewis, you're on behind the scenes now. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> save this, save, save this one. Don't worry, I got you, bro. How you say? For the zapping, uh, it's behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, yeah. <laughs> ah! Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, good. I'll do one more time. There was a house fire, right? And you can only save one item in your house. What would you pick? What item would you keep, like, try my to ball, save? My ball, my ball. Your ball? Yeah. No PlayStation? No no computer? Just the ball? It's between my ball and the PlayStation. <laughs> go! <laughs> okay, go again, go again. Go! <laughs> go! 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 <laughs> There's some cheating, bro. Both of you cheated in between. Go. 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 <laughs> Go. 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 Nice. Zero. Okay, last round. One more round. Go. 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 And if you were to describe yourself with three words, what three words do you think you'd give yourself? Amazing. Fantastic. Okay. Good picks, good picks. Go. Tie. Tie. Okay, we go again. Go. Okay, one for Go. Ah, oh, you have the stretches your head, yeah? Go! <laughs> Bro! No. What was that? I don't believe that! Bro, he like waited for you and then you still... Because I had to chance, I had to... Yeah, focus on mine. No, I had two, two choices, you know? And you close that. Yeah. That first half in there. Oh man. Go. Okay. Ah. Good. Go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you won. One person. Like either either from uh, the past or now. Like they can be dead or alive. I lost the opportunity to to take one picture with Maradona. In Manchester, I didn't take a picture, so after he died, I was feeling so sorry. <laughs> you saw that, right? He messed up. That's why he said good, good. Finish. <laughs> and if you can go back in time, 
and to your 13 year old uh, Louis, right? Yeah. And if you could tell him one thing, what would you say to him? Never give up. Yeah, hurts a lot for in the future. Because uh, I remember that time was could be one of the difficult times in my life, but was one of the happy times in my life. Because when I go back, when I think, I was enjoying a lot doing my stuff alone you know, in the um, in somewhere else with a ball, hitting the ball to the to the wall, or trying to do something else. Who I was thinking I was making me feel better and improving my skills. And that time it was raining or shining. I was there. I didn't think about anything. Even very starving, wanted to eat, but stay all day without food. All thing about enjoying the football. That was good. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> First time, right? First time. <laughs> we were asking, he was like, how do you think he's going to do it? I was like, he's going to do fine. <laughs> Who would you say is the most interesting person to follow on social media right now? That you think is like funny or, you know, I, I follow I, I follow sometimes my my old teammate Patrice Evra because I know him I know how his uh, personality is how good person he is yeah. and that makes me laugh a lot sometimes when I see the videos he makes uh, it's so funny so funny and maybe a lot of people don't know him but in the dressing room before, we enjoyed a lot, enjoyed a lot. He had always something new to, to, to do in our dressing room, make players uh, laughing, make players hungry, and it was, was fun, was fun. that gave you advice that you would say was like the best advice you've ever received? Yes, I have advice from a lot of people, but one time uh, I was playing for a sporting reason and uh, I was a was kid, I was under 16 and I was doing a lot of things, wrong things like, like every kid does in that, in that age. And I remember there was a man who, his name is Aureli Breda, he was he's one of the important uh, persons in my in my childhood and Cristiano and all these good players uh, who passed from sporting. And he was giving me a very important advice because I couldn't play for so many uh, months because of a, a document thing. So I was. You know, Portuguese, and you just could um, sign one um, like foreign player. Foreign player, and then I had to wait. But I was training. I was training good, and never lose my passion, never lose my uh, my desire, and my hope to one day play. And but at the same time, I lost my my uh, my way, and I was not doing good things. And he came to me and said, look, Tom, I need to talk to you and then on the, um, in the room. And then he said, look, look, kid, we know all you've been past, you've been through your life. We know all your story. That's why you are here. We trust you. We know it's not easy for you not playing. But I want to tell you something. I trust you. you you're going to reach the level. But you have to be careful with the people who are going to get close to you. 
It's gonna be a lot of people, a lot of persons who will be next to you, hug you, smiling and um, telling you they will help you in any, anything you need. They will be available anytime, but the only thing they want just to use um, your fame and your money and, and try to get the much they can from you. In that time I was no, no one. And I took that advice because I like to listen and I put it in my head and a couple years after I signed uh, I signed my contract one year after with Sporting and I moved to the professional team and uh, after two years I moved to, to England, to Manchester, so fast and national team everything was so fast and I was remember everything and then all what that man told me in that moment was true because a lot of friends, a lot of people from no nowhere, I didn't know where they came from, so they was telling, oh, if you need help, I can give you this, my card, my number, let's go there, let's do this, let's do that. And then because of that message that that man gave me a long time ago, I was always in the right time, making a good decision and go away from that person. And then I've been found out that guys, if I follow them on that day, I would be in trouble, I would do things I should not doing. And from there I start follow the advice, the good advice, and that advice was the best in my, my life, I think, uh, in terms of um, the, the football side, you know? Like yeah. The, <laughs> Fabio, as a as a coach, give us some advice. How can Moali improve his volley? Well, he needs to focus more uh, in a goal other than looking at the ball the whole time. And also, if he looks at the goal, he knows where the goal is. Then he can like just do the movement right away. Uh, but because he's looking at the ball when he turns, he's not hitting the, the goal. Good advice. Good advice. Did you hear his advice? What did he say? You didn't listen, eh? Okay. <laughs> 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 oh! The service is good. What about your favorite thing to eat right now? Favorite thing? Food. I like to eat spaghetti a lot. Especially before one day before the game. But obviously my favorite plate is feijoada. That was perfect. That was beautiful. No, this one is easier. <laughs> if you were never into sports, what do you think you'd be doing for work right now? I was making uh, the fields for people to play soccer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I've heard anything from like salesman to garbage man, like. Yeah, because when I was a kid, we we were making our own fields, you know. Um, we were making the lines, trying to make look the closest a, a normal field as possible. 
We were getting the woods to make the goals. Wow. It was nice. And at the end, we, we, we made goals and was looking very close to a real field, you know. But we were enjoying a lot that moment. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. It hits me three times. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Bro. So, if we were to put Mo Ali on FIFA 21, what number do you think you'd rate him? Now that you've seen him, ever, all, all his, the skills, all the skills, I would give him 95 skills. But what about overall? <laughs> Be honest, bro. <laughs> Realistic. <laughs> I'll pay you later. 75 pace. <laughs> dribbling? <laughs> no, dribbling. I would, I would give him. Uh, 83 shooting shooting 75 <laughs> defense <laughs> yeah, 65 physical physical <laughs> 70 and then passing passing 75 oh you, and what is that overall what would that be total total bro <laughs> is he a gold is he a 75 or above or is he 74 77 77 oh okay i'm happy he's happy thank you bro oh ah. <laughs> Power, good power. It's not about power, it's about technique, okay? Technique. <laughs> oh. I, just, I just want to confirm. <laughs> just to confirm. confirm you know? Finish him, right? Just to finish him. <laughs> Another point. Difficult ball. You have to work a lot from this ball, you know. <laughs> oh, the champion is here! <laughs> Hi guys, here's Nani. I'm with Mo. We are here in Orlando, having some fun, doing some training. I can tell you guys. Let's go. Amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now we'll do just some tennis ball juggle. Yeah. <laughs> 